you bring a person to court and the court admits the person to bail, what happens is that the investigators are under a duty to go and inspect the properties or, or the homes of the sureties. That's what you do. So, assuming court is closing and um, the, the, the judges do not have a place or the court does not have a place to keep the accused person, right? Then an investigator could then say that, well, they will take her and keep her in custody until those inspections are done. But under this circumstance, that's not what is happening. The bail has been granted. The authorities are around. And the authorities have actually properly so-called brought their uh, ID cards and supply them to the register of the court. The only thing left is for the inspector, so the investigator to inspect the homes of the authorities so that the authorities will sign for her to be released. That's what is left. But what is happening now that we want to go and keep her and until whatever, I mean, very, very respectfully, that will be an abuse. It will violate her right to fair trial. It will help violate her right to freedom of movement. It will violate her right not only under the Constitution of Ghana, but under the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. I mean, the UN Convention on, uh, on Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. I mean, the, 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 how do you treat a foreigner like that on your land? Ghanaians are also, we are also foreigners elsewhere, right? And so, how we treat, how we want to be treated elsewhere is the same way we should be treat other people here. So if you have an issue, no problem. You brought the matter to court. The court has admitted a person to bail. Please, let's release it on bail. I think that it's, that would amount to contempt of court. And we won't accept that because that would be unlawful. In fact, that would be unlawful. I mean, it would be an affront to the decision of the court today. Unless someone is saying that she's being rearrested. In which case, you have to let us know the reason for the arrest. Because you can't just go about arresting a person for no reasonable cause. So you should be telling us that, okay, you are under arrest for this, this, this offenses, which is going to be investigated. But when the person has not committed any offense, and you bring the person to the court on specific facts, and the court reviews the facts and admits the person to bail, we would expect that, the, that you will respect the, the decision of the court. Otherwise, then that will not be rule of law. That will be rule of jungle. The, the political tone of this case cannot be taken out. The prosecutors...